know I had to check. They were not leaking it, bit man. As you can see, the title we got. I don't know, but these niggas, this shit, this shit called out there on deadly rap beef in Augusta. Y'all niggas should know I'm from Augusta by now. Y'all all it to my Atlanta and shit, bro. I'm not from Atlanta. <laughs> I'm not from Atlanta. Hey, but well, we got deadliest rap beef in Augusta. They had Ken in the goddamn, in the goddamn, in the thumbnail. But the thing about this motherfucker, I seen people sharing it on Facebook, and I guess these niggas don't know what the hell they talking about. But we finna see what's going on. I probably don't know what the hell they talking about. I probably know what's going on, most likely, though. Hey, but we got the deadliest rap beef, beef in Augusta, Georgia history, killing their own crew. We finna get right into this bit. Watch the ass. finna be talking about that. That shit crazy. Nobody wins when the family feels. But I hope some men time she tryna be in my mind. Stick on your blizzard, that's a four bus or a kid. My blizzard like a hoe, no get a switch on. Taking trips back to forth the cannon like a pig on bad talk. How the fuck you think they take it to fifty on the gun you got a fifty on? She love when I be dripping, she gon' lick it on. Hey, that shit really crazy with Ken, bro. Cause these niggas like act and no jumper, all of them posting this nigga night. He had to go to jail to get a murder charge for the niggas to post and that one. I'm getting that. That shit crazy. Cause Brad really been going crazy since he got out of jail that first time. He might be bigger when he get out this time. Cause he when he uh, got out of jail that last time, he said uh, his ass started buzzing for real. And when he get out this time, it might be it might be even crazy. Now that act and no jumping them posting him and shit. They gonna have to since they posting him going to jail. They gonna have to post him getting out. And then that nigga just gonna turn up. Oh God. Shooting to tell you about in an Augusta apartment complex around 6 p.m. Richmond County deputies responded here to the estates at perimeter apartments about two shots fired at two victims. We're told someone shot at a moving car hitting the driver and a passenger. The driver sped off and crashed into some nearby trees. The coroner tells Fox 54 that the driver was taken to the hospital for treatment and the passenger died from a gunshot wound. The a victim killed in a shooting yesterday afternoon. The coroner says he's 24-year-old Usaini Yunusa. The begins in Richmond County where the sheriff, along with the FBI, announced more than 100 arrests made as part of Operation Grace. That's a three-month-long operation. Jimmy, Operation Grace targeted gang and gun violence in Richmond County. And I ain't even know they did all that, boy. Oh, God, I ain't know they did all that. What the hell? Hey, bro. Hey, you know I be on my ground, but I ain't know what the hell was going on. A hundred people, too? As he's 24-year-old Usaini Yunusa. Battle begins in Richmond County where the sheriff, along with the FBI, announced more than 100 arrests made as part of Operation Grace. That's a three-month-long operation. Jenny, Operation Grace targeted gang and gun violence in Richmond County, and of those 119 arrests, 55 are suspected gang members, but Sheriff Roundtree says sends a strong message to those involved in gang-related crime. Investigators recovered 176 firearms and hundreds of grams of narcotics, as well as 33 pounds of marijuana. Investigators say 55 alleged gang members were also arrested, including members of the Loyalty Over Everything gang. Last night, they took from me. They took, they took my heart. So she was my heart, but she was like my child. That was my baby right now. New indictments handed down in the shooting death of an Damn. eight-year-old girl in Augusta. Tonight, we're taking a closer a look at the 25 counts against five different suspects for the murder of Aubrey Anthony and another shooting just two days before. News Club's Claire Allen joins us live in the studio and Claire all five are accused of being members of the LOE gang and you say the search is still on for two more right? Let's be clear if your clique responsible for a young kid losing their life more than often your whole clique and the rest especially if they can't pinpoint the shooter. This is another case of a small community once friends now enemies. Family in this video we got to discuss a rising artist from Augusta Georgia and this artist has been making headlines after recently being arrested last week for M1. Now in the same rapper wasn't home for six months before recently being rearrested. Now the crazy thing is this rapper is accused of taking the life of another rapper in his hometown, which we'll later discuss. 
And what's even more crazier than the last statement is the fact they grew up in the same area and was once part of the same clique. Now, beefing with somebody you grew up with your whole life is spooky, especially if they're from the same side. Because more than likely, it's even more easier to get the drop. And because the drop was so easy, this eternal beef caused body to drop left and right, including the eight-year-old girl, which we'll later discuss. May she rest in peace. And of course, we already know, family, once a body drop, there's no coming back from that. This might be the day deadliest hip-hop beef in Augusta, Georgia history. So before we break this one down, remember family, I don't give you no angle. I just need yeah, a story. Right. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're gonna jump right to it. Now the rising Augusta, Georgia artist who was recently locked up was a rapper named Kenneth Williams, AKA Rock Ken, only 19 years old and was arrested for M1. Rock Ken have a couple of songs that managed to get hundreds of thousands of views. One song is a track titled Mad Song that was released six months ago that had over 669,000 views. Mad's going hard as hell, oh God. That bitch should be at a meal, that be too hard. Managed to get hundreds of thousands of views. One song is a track titled Mad Song that was released six months ago that had over 669,000 views and counting. Get get bag, get bag, Growing up in Augusta, Georgia, Rock Camp would grow up in the area on Shirley Ave, which also go by low loyalty over everything. Now, Shirley Ave allegedly include the Jenny Holmes housing area, Richmond Villas, and other areas. Now, the history of low, low. Nigga, that ain't Jenny Holmes. in Augusta, Georgia, Rock Camp would grow up in the area on Shirley Ave, which also go by low loyalty over everything. Now, Shirley Ave allegedly include the Jenny Holmes housing area, Richmond Villas, and other areas. Now, the history of low loyalty over everything, aka Shirley Ave. Did he say Sunset Villa 10? Ave allegedly include the Jenny Holmes housing area, Richmond Villas, and other areas. Now, the history of low loyalty over everything, aka Shirley Ave. It goes back to the 1980s when it began as the Shirley Avenue Boys, who named themselves based off the street they lived, Shirley Avenue. Shirley Avenue was located off Olive Road in Augusta. Now, according to authorities, the younger members of the gang changed the name to Low Loyalty Over Everything to allow the group to branch out beyond Shirley Avenue. Also, according to authorities, Low Rivals include the Bottom Boys and Boat Drive Alley Boys, both of which originated about two miles from Shirley Avenue. Now, before the 19-year-old Augusta, Georgia rapper Rock Ken was arrested in 2023, he was also arrested in 2021. According to police records and charges that was later dropped, he was arrested on 9-18-2021 on aggravated assault five times, aggravated assault on robbery and burglary. Rock Ken was later released in July 2022. He beat this shit. He gonna come home and blow the fuck up. Tell you that no. Cause when he when he beat when he um when all that shit got dropped and he came home and my mom man that bitch that bitch started going up for when he beat this shit and he get out. He was also arrested in 2021. According to police records and charges that was later dropped, he was arrested on 9-18-2021 on aggravated assault five times, aggravated assault on robbery oh, and burglary. Rock Kim was later released in July 2022, later dropping a song called Rolling, which was released 10 months ago that had over 400,000 views and count. It had a cameo also of Rock Kim getting out of jail. <laughs> When Rock Ken came home, another Augusta, Georgia rapper was dissing him. Now, this rapper is currently locked up at the moment, but he go by the name of Rock Life Zoe. He have a song named Three Million that was released last year with more than 250,000 views and counting. Up the street, can't get me. Robber niggas stick them up and hit them. The other young niggas ain't fucking with them. They know we gon' get it. Now, Rock Life Zoe, a.k.a. Zion Walker, was locked up in March of 2023. According to authorities, Rock Life Zoe was the prime suspect in a shooting that happened in July 2022. According to police record, that incident damaged three cars and had bullets flying through a home that had eight people inside. This location was the 1700 block of Fairwood Drive in Augusta, Georgia. Now, when Rock Kim was arrested in 2021 before being released in July 2022, 
two in January, an eight-year-old kid that go by the name Aubrey Anthony. She was struck, unfortunately, after playing outside and a drive-by had occurred in an apartment complex. Among the details was given, a sheriff had stated that the two suspects were last seen driving a red and orange in color Jeep Compass with large black stripes on the hood. And count on begins tonight with family and friends coming together to mourn the loss of Aubrey Anthony. The eight-year-old was shot and killed Saturday during an apparent drive-by shooting on 3rd Avenue in Augusta. The family now speaks out for the person responsible to come forward. News Channel 6's Ashley Jones has that story. Here's how Carmen went from juggling two jobs to make ends meet to following his dream of making music. And he... Someone last night took my grandbaby from me. It took, it took my heart. So. She was my heart. And she was like my child. That was my baby right there. That was my baby. Aubrey Anthony was someone's daughter, granddaughter, niece, sister, friend, and most importantly, the heart of this community. She loved TikTok, she loved dancing, she loved running. She, she, anything she loved about doing. Yeah, that shit was crazy, bro. That shit had damn near toe fake Facebook up, bro. Everybody was posing like that, I swear to God. That was my baby right there. That was my baby. Aubrey Anthony was someone's daughter, granddaughter, niece, sister, friend, and most importantly, the heart of this community. She loved TikTok, she loved dancing, she loved running. She, she, anything she loved about doing. She was so happy, she was a happy child. She loved to do stuff, loved to go places. A child full of life, but at just eight years old, that life was cut short. Family members tell News Channel 6 that she was the victim of a drive-by shooting. And she was out here, she was playing like she always does. She's always out here playing. She's always out here playing. She wanted to pet the horse, the horses. She saw horses, and she just got murdered senselessly. Her father there to witness it all. Um, I get, got on the ground and and first thing when I got up, I, I, I yelled for her, and she would respond back, and I picked her up, and I rushed her to the hospital. That's it. Richmond County Sheriff's Office deputies responded to the shooting Saturday evening at the Anthony home on 3rd Avenue. They later reported Aubrey died at the hospital. Now the community is coming forward honoring the child with the balloon release. It's all to support a now broken family. But many say her death was not in vain. Instead, it raises awareness to a bigger issue in this community. I've been staying out here in the South Side all my life, 2101 2nd Avenue. I've seen a lot of killings over the years, and it's getting worse. Richmond County Sheriff Richard Roundtree will be holding a press conference on Monday, but so far no suspects have been arrested in connection with Aubrey's death. Whoever you are, please turn yourself in. You took a child. You feel like something that took hold of me. You took something so precious. This must be her mama. Whoever you are. You need to stand up and take this blame and fault. Please speak up. Please speak, speak up. up. Please speak, speak up. up. That's my baby. It's a child. It's a child. Yeah. We had to leave the world. My birthday was uh, In Augusta, I'm Ashley Jones, WJBF News Channel 6. Now that family is looking for donations to cover funeral costs. We have a link for you to donate on our website. Four people was arrested at first, including one female. But then, after a three-month investigation, authorities would arrest over 100 people that was connected to Low Gang, a.k.a. Shirley Ave. And no opposition was arrested for real. And that's because Shirley Avenue, as we mentioned, covered so many neighborhoods, they was beefing with them. A guy in his 20s was one of the over 100 people that was arrested, Usaini Nasora, who was also a rapper in Augusta, Georgia, and a part of the Shirley Avenue crew, which means him and Rock Kent is from the same area. The battle begins in Richmond County, where the sheriff, along with the FBI, announced more than 100 arrests made as... showing too many news clips, so they ain't trying to see all that shit. Part of Operation Grace. That's a three-month-long operation. They seized dozens of guns, lots of drugs. News Channel 6's Journey to Jefferson is live now at the Richmond County Sheriff's Office South Precinct with more on what on those arrests and what it all means in light of the recent violence in the community. Jenny, Operation Grace targeted gang and gun violence in Richmond County and of those 119 arrests, 
55 are suspected gang members, but Sheriff Roundtree says sends a strong message to those involved in gang-related crime. Investigators recovered 176 firearms and hundreds of grams of narcotics, as well as 33 pounds of marijuana. Investigators say 55 alleged gang members were also arrested, including members of the Loyalty Over Everything gang, which has been connected to the shooting death of eight-year-old Arbery Anthony. Sheriff Roundtree sending a strong message today to gang members and those involved in gun violence. If you're carrying or using illegal firearms in Richmond County, you should go to prison. If you're a chronic predatory offender, you should stay in prison. If you're a so-called gangbanger or wannabe gangster, we're going to put you in prison. While Operation Grace is now over, Sheriff Roundtree says they will continue to crack down on drug and gang-related activity. Reporting live in Augusta, Journey to Jefferson, WJBF, News Channel 6. Now remember the guy, Rock Life Zoe, who's currently arrested for the shooting that happened in July 2022? Usaini and Rock Life Zoe were close affiliates. And Usaini was also a rapper that go by the name of Trap Money XO. This is his profile. As you can see, he flunked cash in almost every video or picture. The Savannah, Georgia artist Trap Money Esco, one of his highest songs was a song titled Make It Happen, released two years ago with a little more than 11,000 views and count. Bombay, I'm really living with my song say. Now, Trap Money Esco would unfortunately lose his life after a car he was riding passenger seat in was hit up. It happened around 6.30 p.m. for our daylight, oh. April 26, 2023. And keep in mind, Trap Money Esco was just arrested eight months prior. Wasn't even home a year as he was out on bond waiting for his trial before he came to his demise. More information on a victim oh, killed in a shooting yesterday afternoon. The coroner says he's 24 now, year old. Another person while they were driving down the road. All of this happening on St. Andrews Drive and Perimeter Drive near the estates at Perimeter. Deputies say the suspect sped off on Perimeter Parkway before crashing into trees at the intersection of Interstate Parkway. We're told the driver was taken to the hospital. Still no word yet on who the suspects are or if they've been arrested. On the next day, authorities would say they were looking for an old school Honda, a it red take, one. It take negative shit for Augusta and shit to get light, fool. Because as much as anybody, like, I, I ain't gonna lie. If you're from Augusta, you know Ken the most loved and basically Zoe the most hated. But at one point, if we been, we been, when Zoe blowing up like 2020, a lot of people was on his dick. I don't know what the hell he did. And now everybody just hated that. I don't know what. So hard to me, though. But what I'm getting at here, goddamn... It take all these negative shit, both of them niggas in jail, for Augusta to start getting like, like it's just some negative shit for Ken to, Ken to get posted by no jumping and acting all them people. And and not Zo in the motherfucking video and, and the trap money nigga in his negative ass shit. He trying to tell what's going on. He don't even know the nigga to my Jenny home, but that was not no picture of no motherfucking Jenny home. Oh God, what the hell is you talking about? But hell yeah, it just, niggas thrive off negativity and that shit just crazy. In connection to the shooting. I and the Thompson Police Department, they're both asking for your help to find this maroon or burgundy colored Honda Accord connected to a shooting that happened today. It happened at the KJ's Market IGA parking lot. Shit. When police got there, they found one man had been shot at least once. Authorities say two men were arguing in the parking lot just moments before they both opened fire. GBI says the suspect driving the car was a black male wearing a white shirt, long pants, and he had dreadlocks. A little did we know at the time, that was in April. A couple months later, that person she was describing was the rapper, Rock Ken. And the person who was hit up with Trap Money Esco, he was the driver. He survived. He go by the name of Kobe Burns. That was a tough day for Burns, oh, because not only did he see his man lose his life, but he was shot I and know. later, that was a tough day for Burns, because not only did he see his man lose his life, but he was shot and later arrested and charged the same day with DUI drugs and failure to maintain the lane. And according to Richmond County Police Records in Augusta, Georgia, Kenneth Williams, AKA Rock Ken, only 19 years old, was arrested 6-7, 2000. 2023 for the demise of Trap Money Esco. Rock can had five pending charges, with only two having bombed. Order to show cause, also possession of a firearm and or knife during crime, aggravated assault, possession of a firearm by first offender, and in one. If these charges are true, this 19-year-old rapper with so much potential might have threw it all away.
Without having a bomb, Rock can't gonna have to sit in jail until he take it to trial or accept the plea. Now, before we get out of here, we do want to say rest in peace to Aubrey Anthony and love and condolences to your family. Also, rest in peace to Trap Money Esco and love and condolences to his family. Also, anyone affected by the series of events that we talked about, love and condolences. Family, that was the story of an Augusta, Georgia artist who wasn't home more than eight months before being back arrested for M1. Let me know how you guys feel about this one in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And today, I'll catch you guys on the next one. I want to know where the hell you get information from, son. He ain't even say nothing about he ain't turning himself in, bro. I don't think he did that shit. I don't know you be all over it. I don't know, bro. That shit crazy, bro. I ain't even gonna, I ain't even trying to speak on that shit. I don't know what the hell, bro. To my... <laughs> hey! But if you know, you know. But goddamn, I don't know, bro. I, the shit, the shit just, the shit just really make me mad about the niggas getting, um, niggas getting, they shine off negativity when these niggas really been grinding and shit. For real, like them niggas be jocking all type of shit. Ken, Ken was blowing up. He might, bro. If he get out, he gonna blow the fuck up. <laughs> I just tell you that now on my mom. <laughs> on God. But other than that, y'all like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Elite Life, follow me on Twitch at Elite Life. A question in the comment that you want me to react to. Y'all be safe, and I'm out there be little head ass nigga. Oh, free all them niggas. On God. <laughs>